Hey guys, welcome to day 161 of my carnivore journey. And um, not a lot to, to report to you guys, so it's going to be a fairly quick update. Um, as you could probably tell by the uh, the thumbnail, is I ate the other half of that deep dish pizza, except I actually added a little bit more to it. So I took the last bit of um, of that keto pizza sauce that I made, I spread it on the top, did the last bit of my mozzarella, spread that on the top, and oh, and um, I also added some salt, garlic, and onion powder um, just to you know kick it up even a little more like I thought, and a little bit of pepper, and uh, what else? And then I added some beef on top. And baked it in the oven, kind of rebaked it, right? Warmed it up, rebaked it, and um, and it, it was okay. Again, and I had, I actually had, I, I went to the store and got some grated parmesan, so I ate that again, just putting a little bit of parmesan on there, and had it more like a, it, again, it tasted more like a meatball cake kind of thing. Again, it was still pretty mushy though, even after rebaking it again like that pork crust, it was, it was pretty thick. So I know in the future, if I was to do that, I'm one, I'll probably bake it at 400 degrees and I'll also hit it up with the broiler and maybe even go a little thinner and I'll just have to kind of monitor it until I get it like a, a decent crispiness. That would probably work out better. But for the most part, the, the cheese and egg crust that I do, um, keep in mind, one thing I'd like to let people know, whenever you see me do the cheese and egg crust pizzas, the ones that I, I so far, I actually like the most, I use Colby cheese, okay? You want to use six ounces of Colby cheese and like two ounces of mozzarella, okay? That is a great combination. The Colby is not, it's not as greasy. It, it doesn't end up greasing out like the cheddar does. Um, and the addition of the mozzarella again, and it's, it's not as sharp as maybe like a, a cheddar. So, um, the Colby, uh, mozzarella combination is, seems to be the best one for the cheese cross pizza, but for this, for the deep dish, uh, you know, again, it, it's okay. It's okay. I'm sure if I would have got it to come out the way that she did it in the video, cause she actually was picking it up and it wasn't even hardly floppy. So, um, uh, again, it's just, it's just probably user error, <laughs> but, uh, but I followed a recipe and it didn't come out the way I was hoping it would. I might try other versions in the future because I do think that that combination wasn't bad. Like having that pork crust with the toppings. Um, but, um, but yeah, so that's what I had today. I didn't really have any lunch, but I do have to get to a, a confession Okay, so last night was a Saturday night, and I baked two pounds of bacon. Okay, twenty slices of bacon. Um, I wanted to to make it and everything, and I got I don't know what it was. It was one of those moments where. I ate 17 out of 20 pieces of bacon last night. There, I said it. Um, I don't know why. It was like, I don't know if it was if I was having a fat guy moment and I just was like craving to just eat. It was like in the middle of the night. It's like I had just watched like not a movie, but like a TV show. I was playing some games on the computer. And it was just like a Saturday night. I guess the one thing I would say that I'm proud of is that I didn't fall off the wagon. You know, I didn't like run out and go to the store and get like, you know, sugar and junk. But instead, it's just like I had a snack and, and it turned into like a full on feast because it was like the bacon just was kept hitting me so good. It's like the bacon came out. And so I ate I was just going to have like two or three pieces and then I had it near my computer I'm like snacking on a piece. I was like, oh man, that's good. And I was like, I got another one. I was like, all right, one more. And it just was like one more, you know? And again, and I, I didn't have a lot of control on the amount of bacon I had. So 
there you guys go. So in the middle of the night, I had 17 out of 20 pieces of bacon. So you might as well just say I had almost two pounds of bacon. Uh, but I wasn't, you know, as far as any after effects, I mean, I guess my body really needed that. I don't know. I, I almost felt like my body was craving something super salty, maybe. And maybe that was my body's way of telling me, hey, maybe your electrolytes are a little low or whatever. Um, and and I just I just gobbles, gobbling up that bacon, baby. So uh so I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Like I said, you know me. Um, some of you know me, some of you don't know me, but I'm gonna tell you guys the the honest truth. So I did that. Today I had the other half of that uh that there. A couple small little pieces of butter bites that I had, not not a lot. But do I see myself doing anything else tonight? No, I don't. I'm very much full and I'm good to go. So I don't see myself doing that tonight. Drinking a lot of water. I am drinking my coffee. Uh health-wise, everything was pretty good today. Uh, went out, uh, did some minor shopping, laundry, things like that. Was kind of walking around a lot. Um, yesterday, I wanted to go for a walk, and it was kind of rainy when I when I opened up the door. I was like, ah, it's, it's, I can't really go for a walk. So ended up uh, going and, and, and went to a few stores yesterday, but I didn't really buy anything. It was just more of like going for a walk. So I kind of went to Lowe's. Walked around like the hardware store, looked at some things, just walked around. I didn't buy anything. Walked out, went to Walmart, walked around. I think I had to pick up like one thing or something like that. Um, but I, I didn't really, you know, shop or anything. I just walked around. So um, other than that, the, probably the last thing would be uh, just, again, I always got to mention the website, allcarnivoreinfo.com. Uh, and for the new people that may be watching this for the first time, um, you know, this is my diary and I tell you guys what I eat, how much I ate every day. Uh, but also I launched a website and the, the, the easiest way to explain it is this is that place that you send or all the carnivores can go to. It's a one stop shop. You can show up to the website and you can explore to your heart's content. You're going to learn what the what the web you know what a, what carnivore is, any health concerns you might have, uh, testimonials, supplies, uh, medical of uh, companies that that are pro friendly. Um, you know what can you eat on carnivore? Uh, if you want to find other carnivore YouTubers, there's there's just a ton of information at your fingertips. So this is where you send people that want to learn, or if you're new and you want to learn more about carnivore, but you kind of are getting lost in the weeds out there in the internet weeds, go to, go to all carnivore And usually I put it right here. Ow. I usually put it like in this corner right here. So go to all carnivore and, you know, just explore. And if you see something I'm missing, hit me up on the contacts and I'll add it to it. Some of you guys have been really good about it. So, but I'm excited. I've got, um, uh, I've got another interview coming up on another YouTube channel, Aaliyah. And I'm excited for that. Can't wait to be on her channel to see what she wants to talk about. And, and, uh, I'm excited, but, um, Anyways, guys, that's all I have. We will see you guys tomorrow in day 162. All right. Bye.